Good afternoon, everyone. Can you, can you hear me at the back? Yes. Okay, that's good. Uh, just a quick correction. Um, I wish I was the immediate past president of uh, JCI London. If the year was 2000, that would be correct. But uh, I'm, I'm not, even though I feel that, that age. Anyway, um, I'm going to talk briefly for about 10 minutes about the concept of mentorship. And when I was thinking about what I should say today, and the wise words of my grandmother many years ago to my father Wilfred in Manchester came to mind. My, my grandmother, is anybody here from the north of England? Yeah, good. So you understand this? With typical northern bluntness and directness, she turned to my dad and she said, Wilfred, what's his name? She said, Wilfred, you'll never be beautiful. <laughs> but, but at least make yourself useful. <laughs> so applying that to his son, myself today, hope we'll find the next 10 minutes useful. Briefly, when we talk about mentorship and being a mentor, there's a little bit of trivia for you. You can use this in the coffee shop, with your friends, or elsewhere. Mentor comes from the Greek, that's the origins of it. In Greek mythology, the king Odysseus, when he went to fight in the Trojan Wars, he left his son in the care of his friend called Mentor. So that's where mentoring comes from. And mentoring, if you look it up in the Oxford English Dictionary, it comes under this definition, ETA. What does ETA stand for? Estimated time of arrival, but actually mentoring stands for experienced and trusted advisor, ETA. Um, role of the mentor, you can go on courses like I've been on to be an enterprise mentor, it takes half a day, and, but to encapsulate it in just two things, I'd say being a mentor involves firstly exploring options, alternative courses of action and finding solutions together, mentor and mentee. And also as part of this mentoring relationship, the mentor is there to work with the mentee to develop the mentee's own resourcefulness, to build the mentee's own capacity together to tackle problems, to face opportunities, and as we say in JCI, be better. Okay. Moving on, because I was asked to cover two things as part of this 10 minute talk on mentorship and mentoring, one being benefits of mentoring and secondly to encourage and motivate you all to to take part in mentoring benefits of mentoring i was trying to encapsulate it to the bare bones yesterday evening i encapsulated the benefits of mentoring to three things it can be remembered by the letters d o t or dot easy for me to remember my mum was called dorothy and my uncle dermot used to call her dot D-O-T. So benefits of mentoring. Firstly, diversity. Usually in a mentoring relationship, there's, you, you come from different backgrounds, different sectors, even different countries, uh, different experiences. And uh, James, who was speaking here earlier, I, think, I don't think he's here anymore, James either, but he was speaking earlier, he mentioned this book that we were talking about, Yes Man. And so, just as a very simplistic analogy, if, if you are a person, and you may be the opposite kind of person, if you are a person who's kind of risk averse, or oh, I'm not sure about this, uh, I, I, I don't really want to travel to another country, whatever, then, then maybe it's a good idea to look to have a mentor who's the opposite of you. So you can benefit from a diversity of views, different opinions, different world views. So, first benefit of mentoring, diversity. Second benefit of mentoring is under O, is this exploring of options. And uh, I just, uh, use another little reference point here. This guy, uh, it's an excellent book, Hostage at the Table by George Kohlreiser. This guy's a brilliant guy. He's a professor of leadership at one of the top business schools in the world called IMD. Anybody heard of IMD? Yeah? One or two, three, four, five? Yeah. Anyway, he refers to a point about it's a different situation, hostage taking and mentoring. I hope it's a different situation. Uh, but he talks about putting the fish on the table. Basically, if there's something bothering you, 
put it out there so that we can explore options to solve it and find a solution. And I think that applies in terms of a way forward for mentoring, in terms of it depends what you want out of a mentoring relationship, but it may often be things like, I want to move into another department, get a new job, get promoted. Put it out there on the table, explore options, find solutions. Third benefit of mentoring, T, it's T-O-T, -T, is this, what I referred to earlier, ETA, Experienced and Trusted Advisor. So the T stands for trust. You want to work with somebody who's a mentor you can trust. So you can be open and honest and say, I don't know everything, I need help, let's work together and explore options, find solutions. Okay, so we dealt briefly with the benefits of mentoring. I also just want to briefly talk about how I've done mentoring, if you like, my experience of it. I was a coach for the education charity Teach First. Anybody heard of Teach First here? Or Teach For All, Teach For Lazier? Yeah? Mentioned yesterday, okay. Um, and I did that for five years outside work, so I coached one to two young teachers each year on the Teach First program, exploring options, helping them to find solutions, and coaching is similar to, to mentoring. And also, I was a mentor for a charity called Safer London Foundation. Safer London Foundation is the independent charitable arm of the Metropolitan Police. Basically, I worked on a program called Promoting Difference, which is about working with um, sergeants and inspectors from underrepresented groups in the senior management of the Metropolitan Police. So I was assigned to work with a Muslim chief inspector, sorry, a Muslim inspector called Manzor, and we worked together for 12 or 18 months with a view to helping him get promoted. And one little piece of advice I gave him, and I said to him, Manzor, I said, I know nothing about the police. And this comes back to one of the uh, advantages, the benefits of mentoring, this diversity of, of use. And I said, no, nothing about the police, but you're an inspector. You want to get promoted to chief inspector? Have you ever sat down and just for 45 minutes over a cup of coffee said to a chief inspector, what do you do every day? Or what the sort of things that come across your desk? What the challenges you have to deal with? Um, how do you find solutions? And I think several speakers have said that about the importance, take advantage, ask people you respect, people in the position you want to be in for a, a coffee and just pick their brains and explore options. So Manzor, we argued about whether this was a good thing for him to do, but in essence, he did it. And uh, he phoned me uh, a few months later and he said the two things, I just mentioned one today, the two things he said, Joe, you advised me to do, I did and I got promoted to Chief Inspector. So that was a, a successful mentoring relationship. We're nearing the end of my uh, 10 minutes, and I just really want to say a couple more things. One is, there is this kind of traditional mentoring, which I think gives the most value. And um, Muzaffa is going to, uh, I think, be talking about this, and he's had a lot of success with the mentoring relationships uh, uh, that he's built, in some cases, over many years. And I think that's the traditional form of mentoring. You work together, whether it's face-to-face -face or by telephone, by email, or a mixture of these over a period, whether it's six months, a year, several years, with defined objectives. But being inspired by all of you and all the speakers over the last few days, I'd say, there's probably room in the world as well for what I call mini-mentoring, or one-off mentoring, or my own term, I'm going to claim this one, coffee mentoring, <laughs> where you, you probably don't get all the benefits because you're not having a long-term mentoring working relationship, but you're getting the opportunity, asking somebody uh, just to meet with you, who you respect, who's running their own business like James Eda earlier, or who's uh, in a senior position at a law firm, county firm to meet with you, explore options, learn from them, but they'll also probably learn things from you as well, your worldview. And mentors are all around, you'll be meeting some later, but even pick things up when you go to places like this. And there's a law firm who have an article in this magazine, Gateway Magazine, and so 
I think if you're interested in career law, you've got some potential mentors there from Mayor Brown, who are a sponsor of this publication. And I, 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 I know my time's almost up now, so I'd say mentoring, very good things to do, and there's value in it. You learn things both the mentor and the mentee. Does anybody remember ETA stands for? Experience. That, was a, that was a bit shallow. ETA stands for? Experience. Trusted advisor. Well done. And benefits for a mentor and mentee in being involved in mentoring are close with what Winston Churchill said. We earn a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. We earn a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. Thank you very much.